Hey guys, Tonic here. Another Tuesday, another Atomic Shop review. This week in the Atomic Shop, we have a brand new bundle. It's called the Taggarty's Thunder Bundle, and it's being sold for 1,800 atoms. And I just picked it up, so let's go check it out. First up, let's take a look at the new Brotherhood of Steel guard posts. With this bundle, you are going to get two of them. You have this one here with the stairs. You also have this smaller one right here. And you can actually sink them down pretty far, so you can place these on some uneven terrain. But placing them down, let's go ahead and take a look at them. So on the front, we do have the Brotherhood of Steel logo. And we also do have this nice worn concrete and this rusted metal. Now going up the stairs, it looks like we do have plenty of room here to aim and fight. So overall, I'm pretty happy with these. I actually really like them. Up next with this bundle, you will also get some new Brotherhood of Steel porch pieces. So right here, it looks like we have a corner piece. Then we have an open corner, a straight piece, and a doorway. And it looks like you can raise them up and sink it down. But placing it down here, they should snap right together. And going inside, it looks like the windows are just about the perfect height. You can shoot through it. And again, I really like the look of this. And I also do like how there is no Brotherhood logo on there. Because I could see this fitting really well with an Enclave camp or really any military style camp. Up next with this bundle, you will also get this new power armor paint called the Taggarty's Thunder Paint. And this is one of those power armor paints that will change based on the armor that you apply it to. So here it is on some T45, and here's a quick look at it with the Union Power Armor. But it can also go on the Hellcat, T51, T60, T65, Ultra Sight, Excavator, and X01 Power Armors. With this bundle, you will also get this new Pip-Boy paint called the Taggarty's Thunder Paint. And it has the number 75 right there, and lots of yellow and blue. Also, with this bundle, you are going to get a new Power Armor display frame. And taking a quick look at it, we do have the Brotherhood logo on the sides. And placing it down, it is going to require some power. So connecting the power, these lights are going to turn on. And placing the power armor inside, I actually really like how it looks. I think I still like the Enclave one more, but this is a close second. Lastly, you will get three new photo mode poses. This one here is called the Military Huddle Love. Then we have the Military Huddle Cheer and the Military Huddle Kneel. But that just about covers everything inside the new bundle, so now let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of the Atomic Shop for those at work and just can't get on right now to see everything. So here is the front page of the Atomic Shop and we have all of the new items for sale and the new bundle. We also have an older Brotherhood bundle on sale for 40% off. Then we have the Fallout First emotes which are included with Fallout First. I'm not too sure why that's on the front page, but heading over to the second page we have the same stuff as last week. Over on the Greatest Hits page, we have a ton of Enclave stuff. So it looks like we have the Enclave bundle. We also have the Enclave Camp bundle, and I really like this one. Then we have the Enclave Returns bundle, the Enclave Screaming Eagle Paint, the Enclave Backpack, Enclave Laser Door, the Enclave Lights, Enclave Turret Set, and Enclave Paint for the Pip-Boy. So a pretty stacked page right here. Then we also do have some vaulting stuff from two weeks ago. And over on the special page, we have a free Wavy Willard's Icon, a free Perfect Bubblegum, the Radiation Dummy. Then we have the Fallout First Bed, a Fallout First Deal for the Vault Tech Fountain, a Raiders vs. Settlers Outfit bundle on sale, and a Fallout First Ketchup. In this ketchup, you have an Enclave Outfit, you also have the Warhead Power Armor, and an APC Tent. And here is a quick look at the new weekly challenges. So we have complete a Gold Star Daily Challenge three times, collect 20 Brain Fungus, collect 10 Legendary Modules, complete three daily operations, consume 20 alcoholic beverages, craft 20 throwable weapons, deal five critical hits to a Rad Toad, kill 30 Mole Miners, mod five energy weapons, and lastly, plant a crop in a workshop or camp 25 times. So overall, I do like this new bundle. I'm not a huge Brotherhood of Steel fan, but the camp items are pretty solid. I really like the guard posts and the porch set. The power armor skin is all right, I'm not sure if I'll use it, but again, overall, I do like the bundle. As far as the rest of the shop goes, we do have some good stuff returning, like the Screaming Eagle skin and the Enclave Camp bundles, so I do think it was a good Atomic Shop update. But that is pretty much going to be it for this video, so I would like to say thank you so much for stopping by and watching, I really do appreciate it. And as always, I'd like to give a massive thank you to all of the channel members. Ice Cream Manny, Mazader, Anxiety Ranger, Jays the Aussie, Joe Pervincente, Barrett Codes, I am Mr. Me, not you. 
Blake Heath, David McDermott, Argent Deer, Shaky Hands Workshop, Leo the Collector Plays as Death 93 Loopy, Adam Steinson, Terry Lockridge, Robert Kennard, CRM 114, Theodore, Slappy Sauce, King Kittens, Omniprotus, Victrix, Axel, Kevin W, Anna S, Fallout McFly, Network Gate, Gold T, Lanthar, Captain Awesome, Heather Henderson, Patrick Ruta, 23 Ice Fire, Bowser Double Frank, Christy Mellon Schwitz. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys and have a great day.